name is Chikum Uku, and I'm one of the six finalists for the Art of Vagina Award. I'm from Roosevelt, Long Island, and although there are many negative associations with Roosevelt, there are also many positive things going on in the community. We as a community are taking strides to change the culture of the community from the ground up. I myself am the president and founder of an organization here at Roosevelt High School called FRRA. F -R -R -A, and that acronym stands for Future Rough Riders of America with the main objective of hosting monthly alumni lecture series for the seniors to aid in that transition after graduation and going into the middle schools and elementary schools to act as mentors for those that really need it. It's with great pleasure that I nominate Chikuma Uku Hard Vagina Award. It's not just an honor for Chikuma, but also for the Roosevelt football program. Hi, I'm Marnie Hazelton, Superintendent of Schools for the Roosevelt Union Free School District. And I'm here to talk about my former student, Chikuma Uku. I have known Chikuma since I was his fifth grade teacher at Ulysses Bias Elementary School. It has been my extreme pleasure to watch Chikuma grow and develop into a mature, responsible young citizen. Since I've known Chikuma, he has always been involved in school activities, community activities, raising awareness, helping out his fellow student, and just doing whatever he could to make the school experience pleasant, not only for himself, but for his uh, fellow classmates. Uh, when I was his fifth grade teacher, Chikuma was a part of an after-school program that I ran called the O Ambassadors, which was sponsored by Oprah Winfrey. And Chikuma helped uh, the school raise almost $5,000 to uh, help build a school in East Africa. And we also raised awareness for the humanitarian crisis in Dafar. This picture is of a fifth grade Chikuma uh, with his fellow classmates as they wear their Save Dafar uh, t-shirts. So from an early age, Chikuma has always known the value of uh, being a responsible citizen, uh, being educated and knowledgeable, and being able to articulate um, what is going on in the world and how we as global citizens can help affect change. So it is my honor and my esteemed pleasure to share uh, my history and, and, and my honor uh, as far as being able to work with Chikuma, not only as uh, his teacher and now his superintendent of schools, but also as a friend. Thank you. Hi, my name is Elijah Woolock. I'm one of the co-captains of Roosevelt's football team. Over the years, I've, um, you know, I've always been a person who uh, strives to be, to be like the best. And Chikuma is one of the best that I've ever played with in my life. He was a starter on varsity since his ninth grade year. He moved up his eighth grade year. He began to start his ninth grade year. I always strive to try to be like Shakuma. We were in the same grade, and you know, it was at one point like that was one. Shakuma was one of the guys that you look up to. He has very good leadership qualities, and he's he's a hard worker. He always strives to be the best, and you know, he is one of the best. Um, I, my eleventh grade year was my first year playing on varsity, and I played next to Kuma. He showed me the ropes of you know what it meant to be a varsity football player, what it meant to be a hard worker, and he was always there. He picks his teammates up, he picks people up on and off the field. He's a leader in the school. He's a leader in the school as well as a leader on the field. The point was when a guy, like I said, came for the first time in my life, showed confidence in me to believe that you know what, you can go to class, you can go to school, you can be successful, you can work hard. Nobody can tell you what you can't do, and put that, your best foot forward, it's going to work out. Good afternoon, my name is Chikumoku, and I'm the president and founder of FWRA, FRRA, and that stands for Future Rough Riders of America. Our main objective of FWRA is to have alumni come back and speak on positive career and educational opportunities that may open after graduation. We will also use FWRA as a mentor program for 7th and 8th graders in middle school, as well as 6th and 5th graders in elementary school. Coming from Roosevelt, um, there's some things that you're going to be challenged with when you leave here. Who do you see when you look in the mirror? And then if you feel good about that, present that out to other people in society. FWRA, inspiring the future with the past. Good evening, how are you? My name is Mike Jones. I'm the director of 
Health, Physical Education, and Athletics for the Rhode Island School District. I just want to speak a minute about uh, Shakuma. Uh, I enjoy being around him because I, I feel like I've seen him mature uh, from middle school to high school. Uh, you know, as I see him today as a senior, I can recall back, you know, in the ninth grade uh, with him basically wanting to be a leader. So I have seen him just blossom into this incredible leader. He's, uh, I guess an analogy would be uh, what a point guard would be to a basketball team. You make everyone around you better. Uh, he has been on the, on the varsity football team since ninth grade. Of course, he's the captain uh, at the present time. Uh, and what I appreciate most about him is that he's not just the leader on the football field, but he's also a leader in the classroom, a leader in the cafeteria, a leader when he's walking home or whenever it is. Whenever it is. He just uh, leads no matter where he is, uh, and he leads in the right direction. So I'm just saying, Kuma, thank you, and good luck to you. As a senior and captain, he displayed leadership and a work ethic expected from a top athlete. He never complained when he switched his position from guard to fullback. He also faced his own adversity when he injured his knee in the second game, yet he missed no playing time because of, of his relentlessness. Off the field, his compassion and caring moments set him apart from his peers. He's actively involved in extracurricular activities. In school, he is the founder of the FRRA, the Future Rough Riders of America, a group that aids in the transition of education from every level. He has also entertained the students of the United Cerebral Palsy Center of Nassau County for the last five years. The Roosevelt football team cheerleaders and band take part in the annual homecoming festivities. This is a very rewarding experience for all involved. Last season, he provided moral support for his young cousin who was afflicted with encephalitis visiting him very often in the hospital. He's also very involved with his church's food drive, toy drive, and clothing drive. He has been known to help elderly members of the community with house repairs, especially those that were affected after Hurricane Sandy. In fact, due to serving Thanksgiving dinner to the needy, he is foregoing his opportunity to play in the Nassau County All-Star Football game. I'm proud to say, Jakuma Uku truly has the heart of a giant. Unlike many of the other nominees, my football career began much later in life. I began playing football in the seventh grade due to the fact that weight restrictions made playing with my peers on the Rough Rider Police Activity League impossible. I learned the game while in the stands for as long as I can remember watching the dominant reign over Nassau Conference 4 long before I got the opportunity to make my mark. Being able to play football in the 7th grade for the first time was one of the most amazing feelings I have to date. I still remember my first practice, overweight and out of shape. I fell to the back of the conditioning line and that's where the brotherhood bond began. A push in the back was all I needed to strive on and finish the course. I got that push from one of my good friends, Jefferson, that unfortunately after the, after the football season lost his life in a horrific car accident, that moment being the most memorable of the entire year. On the field, I'm a three-time Nassau County champion, all-conference player as well as all-county player, and I've also been a part of 46 varsity games in my career. There are many things that happen on the field that can attribute to life. The game of football is so similar to life in the fact that there are going to be many obstacles that you're going to have to overcome. There are going to be many obstacles that you're going to have to run through. But the only way to overcome these obstacles is by defeating them. 